outside. I hate it, said no one during the lockdown. Feeling a bit distanced from our wildlife in Costa Rica, we headed out in search of some wild critters nearby. So come along and check out what we found. We visited the Donnelly Wildlife Management Area, which is just south of Charleston. They had done a controlled burn the day before and some pines were still smoldering. We left the smoky forest and headed to the exotic freshwater impoundments. We slowly rolled onwards to an area called the Trunks, where the alligators live. This is an old rice field where fish come in, but they can't get out, much to the delight of many wading bird species and a healthy alligator population. At low tide, the gators prefer warming up in the morning sun. So this is where some alligators have crossed the road. You can see how many are right there. But along the edge here, see where it's come up and it's actually crossed the road and gone over to the other side down into the marsh and you can see its trail right through the marsh pretty cool We left the gators and headed back through the smoky pines, finding one still ablaze. Controlled burns remove undergrowth that often leads to forest fires. Living amongst the pines are the large southern fox squirrels, which come in a variety of colors. These are mostly uh, pine flatwoods that we're in right now. There's a little bit of hardwoods mixed in, indicating a different uh, type of habitat. This is an eastern narrowmouth toad. I guess they play dead sometimes. So this one seems to be doing. Anyway, it came from underneath some bark. So we're gonna cover it back up and be on our way. Hey, hey, so we got a little corn snake. It was uh, right behind the bark here. Very beautiful little snake.
These, of course, are uh, non-venomous. They live in uh, underneath bark and stuff when they're small like this, chasing uh, skinks and other kind of lizards. When they get bigger, they move on to uh, animals like birds, eggs, birds, possibly even the mice and rats. Look at that tail. They're very, they're feisty. All right, so we're gonna release it. There it goes into a safe hiding place. Be sure to look in every ditch and roadside puddle for more low country creatures. Snakes with these lizards. This is an eastern rat snake, sometimes called a yellow rat snake. It's a young one, obviously. They get probably two meters, six feet, maybe six and a half feet. So, where did it come from? It came from underneath this bark, and that's we're going, how we're going to release it. We got a big cotton mouth. Woo! You gonna come up and look at him? Is it okay? It's oh. one healthy animal. Oh yeah, it's a chunk. He's after Kate. What? He's after you. Oh, where'd it go? Cottonmouths are relatively calm snakes. You want to come see us, Mal? I, I saw it. Yeah, I've got it from here. So, we're going to try to get this moccasin off the road. Uh, no. All right, snake, let's go. Wow. This thing's flaring. Come on. Come on. Boy, it is not aggressive at all. It's opening its mouth to scare us, but it is not aggressive. I can't, there it goes. Come on, baby, let's go. Awesome.